Hi, um, well it's Monday morning, it's a lovely blue day, blue sky, um, I've come back to the pet cemetery that we came to a few months ago, just to see if it's grown, you know, more people have buried their pets and see what's going on. It's looking lovely today, it's all lovely and cut and looked after, so come with me. Chip and Benji. So as you can see, it's been kept lovely. Can't really say at this point, I've only just walked in, but I can't see any new new ones at the moment. It's so quiet, even though you're right on the main road. And literally, <laughs> I've just come from dropping Katie off and it's not that far away from her school, so I don't know why I haven't been back. As I said I would, I didn't quite make it. But yeah, it's beautiful. We've had so much rain here, it's unreal. We've had days of absolute pouring hard. In fact, part of the country is um, flooded. Um, it was on the news yesterday. They've completely flooded out. Um, we're lucky in the southeast. It's It's bad, but never that bad. But yeah, I can feel where the grass is wet. So I think it rained. Yeah, it rained last night, I think. Oh. Me bottle of drink fell out my bag. I wondered what that was. I heard a thud, it was like, what? Excuse me. <coughs> so there's a fenced off bit that goes down the back there, so I don't know if that's to a farm or what down there. And then you still can't see the water anymore now. It's all overgrown with weeds. Eighteen, sixteenth of the eighth, eighteen. It's last year's. Feet are soaked. <laughs> but it's so worth it, it's so calming and peaceful out here.
picture of him now. Jack and Daisy, Dusty. Rosie Baby. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Just pan you round. Patch of land. Right, my battery's going. So I'm going to change my battery. I'll keep going blurry. And then uh, I'll be back with you. Won't be a minute. Right, I'm back. Uh, full battery. Um, I just thought, I know it's a pet cemetery. I know that sounds silly, but you never know. You might have owners that come and, you know, I don't know. Let's just try the spirit box and see what happens. If it doesn't work, then I won't put it in, obviously. But uh, if it does, it'd be interesting. This is called a spirit box and if you would like to talk through it you can which you already are so is your pet buried here is that why you're here Can you tell me your animal's name that you come to see? Hold up. 
So when our pets die, what what happens to them? Do they go over with uh, and wait for their owners, or go with their owners, or find their owners? Do they get a voice over there? A speaking, a speaking, understandable voice? Or do they stay as our pets? So peaceful out there. There goes the train. So are you here to visit your pets? Are you here because I'm here? Can you tell me what it's like on the other side? <laughs> Little tiny spiders everywhere and I'm covered in them. Do a lot of people come out here and see their pets, do you know? Do they come and visit their graves? No. No. Do you know why I like coming out here? Can animals be reincarnated? come back as something else.
Okay, I'm gonna go now. And I will talk to you another time. I will come back here, because I do like it. quite well we've just got to see what's on there and um, see what they say okay be back in a minute All right. another stroll round I'll just finish off round there Wogan I don't remember that one being here before. But it has been a while. Moses. That sunshine, Isn't it beautiful. I have seen any new ones. There's Pandora's one I've taken photos of before. <laughs> Beautiful big set of hands.
then we've got this section over here on its own. this one quickly. Nineteen eighty four that one. Nineteen ninety-nine, eighty-four, ninety-five, eighty-four. So it's been here a while. Wow, there's no writing on that one. That one's been there a long time. And this one. Make out a few letters, but that's about it. There's Ollie. Another one there. Another one there. Eighty fours. That's a big one. Got no writing on it now, though. It's starting to sink a bit. That's a shame. Old, old one. That one's starting to sink too. That one's gone sideways. No stone on that one. Loving memory of candy. Can't make out T A H I don't sound right, but that's what it looks like. Honey 14 when she died. It's a good age. I'd be more than happy if my dog lasts that long. Even in his 20s, I'd be absolutely over the moon. So I really, 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 really love my baby. He's our fur baby. He'd be sorely missed. 1997. Got some with just sticks. And then uh, red. Let's see if I can make out what this is. No. 1983. 1983. So the more we go back, I think, or in the middle, we're getting older. He was 14. I can't tell on that one because there's no. But there's a few missing if they were just crosses at the time. Jason Seventy? Is that nineteen seventy? Night night, my beauty mum. Oh here's some eighteens here. 18, 2018s. 2017, oh, isn't that lovely the way they've done that? It's beautiful. Biscuit. These behind might be new ones and they're waiting for the stones. We've 
got some behind a bit of a brick wall over here. Two thousand and one, two thousand twos, two thousand sevens. There's a couple of extra little cat ones there. But yeah, here there's a little garage building I take it that's where the mowers and stuff might be so this is all sunny pet cemetery around here all that uh, I think there's horses going that field over there they were there last time they're up the back there I can see a boom a white boom where is she or he there there's horses Oh yeah, they've got their own little shed behind this. It's all fenced off. 1977. It's good when they put ages on things because that's 1977 as well. Because you can tell how long they've been here. And then you'll know. Oh look, that one's starting to sink as well. A lot of them haven't got anything on them, and um, they're that old, they've rubbed off. Like that one's sinking and the writing's come off, and that's a double one over there. Which is a lovely idea, keeping your pets together. There's a dead bird, but we ain't going to film that. <laughs> yeah, definitely, so this is where they keep their stuff and that one behind has been lost that one comes up here for that one I think I saw it up here that one's been held up that one's very old that one's a big Hold down the end, if you can see. Goes up there. Big animal holes down there. Probably a badger woman. Can you see? I've got that. I reckon that's a badger woman. That's huge. Seventy-five. So there you go, over. That's forty-two years old. Trixie. She was thirteen when she died. I'm two years old. That's my phone. Seventy-four. Yeah. I was going to say there's no seeable writing on them. See, this has lasted longer than all of them. 1977. Done with the. Done like that. Isn't that precious? I love that. But yeah, a lot of these you can't see and disappearing into the ground. Nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah, the big Big animal. 
something over there. And then you've got this big telephone power the cable going across. But even with that there, it's really peaceful. years old, Sally, and 12. Lucky was 15, Sally was 12. Yeah, my, my pooch is coming up to 10 soon, the next couple of weeks. And he is grey as anything. I'll have to take a picture and put him on here. He is as grey as can be now. He's losing all his brown and his black markings. And it's all turning grey. And he's now having trouble jumping up on the bed. The bed's a bit higher than what it used to be, but that was like, we changed that last year. But uh, he was fine with it last year and this year, yeah. He's just struggling just a bit. Oh, that's lovely. These put their, put their pets in all together. 78, 88, 2013 and 2017. So they're all together. That's lovely. That's a good idea as well. It saves on uh, separate burials, you have them all together. Um, but yeah, yeah he's uh, that's another 84 one there. So this could be 84 to lead up with them. So yeah, he's getting a bit old, he's getting a bit, Mum, do I really have to jump this high? You know, Dad really helped me. Lucky was 17, he was lucky. I said if I can get anywhere near that, I'll be happy because he's a one in a million dog. Never had any trouble with him, vets wise or anything. We've been so, so, so lucky with him. Um, he's got a lot of traits we've noticed over the years. Well, when we first got him, we noticed it big time. A lot of traits of my Rottweiler I had, um, he's now been gone. 15, 16 years now. Um, if I'd known about this place, I probably would have put him in here. But he's actually out the back of my mum's in the woods. His uh, cremation, we put his uh, ashes out there. And my dad put a tree, and the tree, oh, the tree's gone mad. You know, it's grown huge. A lot of these haven't got much markings left if any at all this is a nice one this is four so they're not alone so yeah anyway like I was saying um Toodles or Staffy has a lot of Otis's who's my Rottweiler who died traits and I mean act like him is unreal um, he's so soppy he's brilliant with kids he lets them get away with murder basically my granddaughter really does go at him sometimes I mean we tell her not to and we pull her away and you know tell her you can't do that but when we're not looking he just walks away he just gets up and he'll move and he, he still chases her around as soon as she walks through the door he goes mad he loves the kids, the older two, and his sister, which is Katie, because it's Katie's dog. Um, it's a funny thing, actually. He actually now, she's got two budgies, and he will go in during the day and check the budgies. It's hilarious. I'm sitting in the office, and uh, all of a sudden I hear this paddling up the stairs, and I think, oh, he's going to come lay under the desk because that's where I've got his bed oh no 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 he goes straight in and sits with the birds for half hour it's the funniest thing it's hilarious and when they're out he totally ignores them but he watches them watches them land and then he'll move if they're too close you know he, he doesn't mean any harm he's just so soppy and he's so loving too loving sometimes he gets a bit much that one's 86, died 13 years old. 
I think there's a big one in there, but it's been left to... Yeah, there is one in there. Can't see it. There's one, two... I would imagine three in there. So that's quite big. But yeah, it is... Uh, got these characteristics off my uh, I can't believe how much alike they are, it's unreal it's like Otis never left he just jumped into another body but this time he actually um, Toodles will actually get in the car himself we're with Otis, so I used to have to get him to put his front, he put his front feet up and then he'd just look at me as I say yeah, now the butt he was huge. It's probably part of the reason why my back's gone <laughs> over the years. And lifting a, f a 15, 20 stone Rottweiler by the time he left he this planet, uh, this earth. Um, he was huge. But yeah, so Toodles has got a lot of traits of my Rottweiler. And it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just his character, you know. I don't know. But he's fantastic and we love him. He's our fur baby. No more babies, so we've got our last fur baby. I don't know if I would have another one, to be honest with you. I think when you've had a couple of dogs like I've had, um, it saved me at a time in my life when I needed him. He only stayed for two years because he got a tumour in his brain but then Pete was there so it was as though he was there till Pete came along and then Pete took over and he went on. It's, I don't know. And then all these years later we end up buying a staffy for our daughter which is Caitlin and uh, he's got so many traits of Otis like I said it's unreal but um, yeah like I said he's coming up to 10 I think he's got a little bit of arthritis he's uh, flops about a lot now he'd just rather sit and get cuddled and play and stuff like that But, uh, yeah, it's one of those things, do I put him where Otis is um, when he does go, or do I bring him somewhere like this? I don't know. The thing is, um, where Otis is eventually, one day I may not be able to go, you know, I won't have him that near because things happen. My parents live there so God forbid when anything happens you know I won't be able to go I'd have to go in the woods to go and see him where where he is now is literally a few feet away from their end of their garden so he's there all the time so I don't know we don't know what the future holds I know what today holds and that's me jabbering on about dogs. Tell you what dogs are dogs and cats and that. I'm not a cat fan but dogs and cats, any animal are really good for depression. I cuddle toodles when I'm feeling down and I feel so much better. He just, I don't know, he knows when I'm upset or down. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I've jabbered on long enough. And I'll come back another time. See you in the next one. Bye.